news. Uh, I got some mail. Uh, as you can see, the uh, Tamer set uh, volume four, I believe, uh, got here. I actually forgot that I ordered this. I ordered it the second it was announced. And it features this gorgeous artwork that uh, depicts the original key artwork for the card game, but all the Digimon have Digivolved up one. So that's pretty damn cool. I love it. I love Tyranimon here. I haven't actually opened it. I didn't want to dirty it. But uh, yeah, I got some cool dudes down here. I love the Flame Dramon down in the middle. I love all of them, really. But yeah. Yeah, love that. Just wanted to uh, show you guys. I'm probably not going to be sleeving any specific deck in here. I don't usually use, uh, like, special, like, official artwork sleeves for anything other than collectible cards. Like, I'll sleeve stuff I put in my collection and stuff. But... And the reason for that is I don't have outer sleeves right now, and I also don't want to ruin these because they're beautiful. And I also want to share them, so... So, yeah. Here's the full mat out of the bag, if you want to get a closer look. Though you can probably just look at it online, but I figured I'd just share it on video, too. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. I love the way it's shaded. I love the rim lighting. Everything is just so nice. Love the background, too. I'm raising Tanemon on the version 4. Kind of just decided to do it on a whim last night. And, uh, yeah. She, uh, took a dump before going to bed, and I can't do anything about that now, can I? I don't know how many care mistakes she got. I don't really care. Just want to, you know, raise a version 4, see what happens. No real specific goals. And, uh, Jarimon, of course. Thing I haven't featured on the channel before is cards, but I figured I'd just show this deck I've had lying around. It's very incomplete, as you can see. Um, I don't actually remember what it was supposed to be. I think it was supposed to be just like Dexterugamon based, but um, not really meant to be competitive or like you know expensive or anything. Um, I put it together when BT9 first came out, and I haven't actually gone back and completed it, even though I think I have more cards that I need for it now. Uh, but I'll have to go look and see my list. Yes, Jarimon. Yes. Excuse me. You good? Okay. Anyway, uh, over here we got Gazimon X. We got Drachmon. We've got Sanglupmon. We've got Dexter Durgamon. We got Dexter Greymon. We got Matadormon. We got Grand Drachmon. And we have Dexter Rigoramon, who I kept accidentally almost saying. I'll see if I can throw the rest together and explain my logic with it. But uh, yeah, I don't normally play purple. I'm, uh, I'm more of a black, blue, and red player, so. I don't really care for the big brain colors, like purple, yellow, and freaking green. But yeah, I just uh, figured I'd show what I have out. Especially since I just got a card mat and all. It's the next night, and Tanemon has digivolved into Biomon, and... I think we should get her some training, huh? I don't know if you've noticed, but the beeps on this device, uh, on this version 4, are a bit fucked up. They're a bit buzzy and weird. I don't really know why. I uh, It wasn't like this before, and I haven't dropped it or anything. But there's just something wonky sounding about the beeps. Might have to open it up and uh, do some soldering with the speaker wire. I've had it uh, happen with my Pendulum 20th before when I got it, because it was used, and uh, that fixed it right up. So I guess we'll see. No, I keep fucking up. You see how it like lowers when, when she does her little attack? It's weird. Shoot. Shoot. 
I'm not tracking care mistakes. I'm not tracking training. I'm just going to see what happens. I should probably do some punching bag battles too so I can guarantee she evolves into something cool. There you go. I gotta like stop at nine, you know? Stopping at nine really does it. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Biomon. Yeah, I'll do a couple more. No! Sorry. Damn, okay. No! <laughs> Zero? Shit. Yes. Okay. Uh, that was getting a little too interesting and a little too engaging. So let's move on to the Penprog, which uh, I have properly set to nighttime, because it is nighttime outside, actually. And um, Gilmon's supposed to do some nighttime training, so let's wake him up, huh? I left a few trainings on him already, so I can, uh, you know get to do it on camera, you know? Because I did a ton of them, like, earlier. Yeah, good job. I cleaned your shit. Great job. Go, Gilmon, go! Yeah! I knew his Giga hit was 15, but I don't know what his Terra hit is right now. Let's try 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Twenty one. Oh, shit. This should be the last one, by the way. Yay. All right, Gilmon. Good job. You did it. We're aiming for Gralmon, by the way, who is uh, right here. Hello. One left, okay.
Yes, perfect. Yeah. Hooray. All right, so aside from that, I have um, on my vital bracelet, we're aiming for Manticore Mon, which requires eight trophies, I believe, and I think 10 battles, so we need one more. But we have the eight trophies, and I believe at least, uh, shoot, how many? How many vitals? Like 2,000? 2,000, yeah. So we need a, a little more to go and uh, one more battle, and we should be set after that. So uh, hopefully I'll uh, get that. Um, I tend to raise multiple Digimon and not always in order. Sometimes like I'll get to a certain stage and then I'll put it away and start something else or work on another Digimon. Over on the Vital Pets, we have Mad Black Roar, and you can't really see it, but we have Dark Tyranimon. I actually posted it to Instagram recently, so you can probably see a clearer picture there. Um, he needs a better win ratio right now, but he has more than enough trophies. And he has 14 trophies, even though you can't see that. And um, he has more than enough battles and vitals, but he needs his win rate to go higher. So, I mean, you know... Uh, hopefully I'll get that up by the, uh, end of this run, huh?
And over on the version 4, we have uh, Biomon. Good morning, Biomon. We're pretending it's morning. Still Biomon. Not too many care mistakes since. And yeah, that's about it for Biomon. I wish I had a device to battle her with, but I currently do not. And uh, these two don't match up, unfortunately. Kind of wish I kept Dobermon out so I could battle him with uh, Erdramon, but, uh, eh, well, that didn't happen. Back to bed for you. And back to bed for you. And back to bed for you. And good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Got my G Fuel. It's the last of my shiny splash tub. And it matches my straw. It's pretty fucking dope, actually. So this doesn't really have anything to do with Digimon, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm frying some chicken. And um, I guess I'll be doing some battles in the middle of that. So if you hear any crackling, that's uh, chicken frying. Hey, look what I got, BT-10, 
going to be attending a pre-release event right now, so that's going to be pretty cool. I'll try to film some card openings, but we'll see. All right, we have this gorgeous Metal Greymon that I'm so happy I got. We have Devimon. We got Montemon. We got uh, Ayatarmon. We have Sparrowmon. But God, God damn, oh my God, I'm in love with this. It's from the uh, 25th anniversary uh, pack that came with the pre-release. So that's fucking baller, dude. Who do you put in the base? Not too good to him with the base. Oh no. Yeah, I got him at the turn. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna do regular stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you take What did I do? I I I I I I I I Well, unfortunately, uh, I just didn't have enough time to, like, properly tend to these guys. And after, like, multiple attempts that I didn't even show, uh, you know, they've uh, gone to Hawaii, sadly. But uh, hopefully I'll do better in my next video. So, yeah, I'll uh, see you next time.